Guys, welcome back. And welcome to a fun-filled adventure with your favorite host, Scotty Survival. Guys, we are going over this mess kit pouch I made for that, what's in here, and for that really rare PLA Chinese military mess kit. And we are also going to make some coffee with it. So uh, yeah, I'm just out here at the Secret Pine Forest, made another video for you guys, and uh, just getting out for the day. So uh, here we are. Enjoy the show, guys. got the mess kit inside the pouch already so we're going to take that out and we'll go over the pouch and then we'll make some tea with it okay so what this is it's a mess kit pouch that i created out of some ripstop nyco um, cotton ripstop nylon ripstop uh, ethiopian woodland camouflage and that is what the main portion of this pouch is. Now, you see here on the front, I'm gonna get you a different camera view. I got a shadow going on here. Now I get you here on the front of it, I have a BDU pocket that I sewed onto this. Yeah, let's see here, I'll get it open for you here. And that is sewed onto the pouch and that carries whatever you want to carry in there. Right now I carry my fuel in there, which is trioxine fuel. But the, yeah, that's a BDU pouch sewed on to the, to the mess kit pouch. And then this is really cool here. On the bottom of it, I flex sealed it with flex seal spray. Basically, I just taped it off, covered a bag over it. I put the mess kit inside the pouch to form it. And then I sprayed it like that. But yeah, I've never used flex seal in my life. It's the first time I've used it. And basically, I wanted to toughen up the, the, the bottom of this pouch to make it last longer. And, uh, but yeah, it turned out really well. About 48 hours, I put two coats on it within 48 hours, so it's pretty much all I needed. Moving to the back of this, I had put some webbing on here. And basically, I'm not fully done with this part, but um, what I got next to do is I got some elastic I'm gonna run through here. And I have a pilot survival, uh, survival flask. I, I'm thinking about strapping it on here so I have a way to hold water. That's basically what this is, is molly webbing. So um, that's what I've made it into. It's nylon webbing, but it's, it's, it's molly, molly compatible. So I can attach that to a backpack as well. And then on the inside of it here, which I sewed, I have elastic here, bungee cords. That just cinches it shut and kind of wraps around the mess kit as you saw. And I have that on both sides here. On the sides, I went ahead and I thought about this and I wanted to do it. I put some handles here and I just put some more webbing on there. I have a bad shadow here. And I just put some webbing on that. Sewed me a couple pieces across there on the inside as well. So you can see where I did it. And uh, I went ahead and used buckles. So the buckles are permanently attached to this but I can unbuckle it with these here on both ends. Right there. So if I don't want to carry it, I can just take those off. Now I'm thinking down the road, I might, I might put a handle here so I just carry it like a handle, but uh, we'll see. Otherwise I'll just, and also these are adjustable so I can carry it like, like a handle if I wanted to as well. So what do you guys think? You like it? It turned out pretty cool. I really, uh, I really like the bottom of it. I think the flex seal did really well. And I, like I said, it was an experiment. I, I watched some stuff online. People do that to packs and canvas backpacks and stuff, and it seemed like it worked really well. So uh, if I end up doing anything with the back of this, we'll go ahead. And I'll make another video. And um, but yeah, like I said, I'm thinking about attaching that flask to that. But I don't want it to be overkill because it's going to be a lot to hold on to my side so 
yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Now, to the fun part. Let's go ahead and make some coffee. All right. So there's a handle for this mess kit right there. And I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something really cool with this mess kit. I showed you another video, but we're gonna kind of demonstrate it today. And that's carrying this thing while it's cooking. I've never seen any mess kit ever be able to do that. Hope, I hope I'm on camera though. I kind of got you in a fine zone there. Yep, you got your little, little handles right there, you can see it. Snap, that snaps the stove part to this, which I'll put a link up in the screen if you guys haven't seen that video. Then basically, it reveals the stove part. And I like to line this, I wanna line this with tin foil, because if you guys know troxing fuel, it is very toxic stuff. But man, it sure is great. It really burns really well. So, uh, yeah. We're using Troxene. That's why I always use Troxene. And this stuff is getting to be really expensive. Now I'm talking about this stuff here. It's what the military used to use. I'm not sure if they still use it anymore. But it's basically fuel tabs. But uh, very toxic. <laughs> but man, they, they, they burn great though. They really burned well. And really we're just we're just making some uh some coffee. So I don't I probably need like a half a tube here, I bet. Try it here. Or half a bar, I mean to say. Okay, actually, yeah, I need to light it. Get that going. Get that on there. And then I'm gonna snap it shut. Okay. Now check this out, guys. This is cooking right now as I'm holding it. So I can literally walk and cook my food. And I can do that because I have these straps right here that snap it together. Now guys, to me, there's no other mess kit out there that can do that, at least that I know of, at least a military mess kit. Hear it? You guys can't tell me that's really cool. Now, I don't know if they thought of that when they made this for soldiers, because this was made for soldiers, but you could literally be in the field. If you had to go somewhere, you could literally walk with this to your next base camp, your next squadron or platoon or whatever, you're, or whoever you're going to. And you got your food cooking right here. So you're always, you can be on the run and you can cook your food. Now that's ingenious. If that's what they were thinking about when they made this, but. Guys, this is post-surgery. Um, and I just got done making another video for you guys out here, because we're at the Secret Pine Forest, I'm not sure if I told you. But um, I think we'll just use two of these. But I need to get out of the house, because it's been like five weeks since I've been able to really even get out and do anything. But like right now, I'm not really walking. I'm just, I'm hobbling. My knee is just still, so, or still, still full of fluid and swelling. I'm just not recovering very fast like I want, but. I've, I've noticed, if you guys see some other videos, some of that trioxane fuel, I've gotten some gags of it because it puts off some nasty fumes. But the, uh, I mean, the way this thing here is set up is it kind of keeps all the fumes enclosed. It has these vents right here on the side 
that it's supposed to steam out and I'm not really smelling the trioxine, which that to me is a plus because that stuff, man, if you, you don't want to get a gag of that stuff, it is nasty. Definitely hot enough for me. I don't need a boiling for coffee, but it's still going. Can you guys hear it? That's those vents there, are pretty neat. Well, if you guys are still here, thanks for sticking along with me today. And uh, this thing's, I don't know, I'm just, I'm really happy with this purchase here. Um, a few more things I want to say about it. I am probably going to be making this my dedicated uh, winter mess kit this winter. Because I'm, I'm hoping this winter we're going to be able to get a couple camp outs in at least this winter. And we'll definitely be using this and the pouch I made for it. And... Uh, yeah, there's what, if you guys see there, that's all left. That's from that trioxine. So that's why I like to use the tin foil in there because uh, otherwise I, I got to clean it off that. And the stuff's just nasty. And if I use that in our kitchen sink, I might get in trouble. <laughs> Let's just say I've been in trouble before. <laughs> if you guys are familiar with the East German mess kits, they're, they're quite a bit thinner than the Soviet era mess kits. That's about what this is. This has got, this is real thin too. So that's a good thing, but it's also not a, it's not a good thing. Um, the reason why, cause it'll, it, it bends easier and it can get damaged easier. It's not as durable or strong. But if you take care of your stuff, pay attention to how you're handling, you'll be okay. But uh, the only benefit of it being thinner is that stuff will cook faster, it'll get hot faster because it doesn't have as much steel or aluminum to, uh, what's we're looking for, uh, conduct through it. The heat will transfer a lot faster due to it being thinner. So that's a, that's a plus. Oh man. Well, I don't really have a whole lot to say guys. I'm just, it's just nice to be out in nature right now and uh, drinking this hot coffee out of this melamine cup. It's a, uh, I believe it's a, I know it's a U.S. military one, U.S. Air Force, or I don't know if they even use the melamines anymore. It's the material they use, but they're nice to drink out of. But uh, pretty much my cup that goes in here and I keep with it. I'm really liking this mess kit. It's, it's pretty... Definitely very functional. It's old, but there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's a great, works great, 
functions. And uh, now I know some of my prior videos or prior videos of this mess kit, I never told you guys what I paid for it. But you guys probably went online and looked at how much it was. I didn't pay that. And uh, sometimes you gotta, you gotta just ask. And the worst thing that could happen is the person says no. So I asked for a better price and it happened. So uh, that's just uh, something I've been learning, not to be afraid to ask. I mean, even if, it's, even if I might sound dumb, you know, it's better than not asking and then losing that chance to get something a little cheaper than what it was. But yeah, these were going for $145 on eBay and they probably still are if they're still on there. But uh, I didn't pay that. <laughs> so, but that's because I took the initiative and asked so for a different price and it worked. And so, yeah. And I was very grateful for that too. I'm not, I'm not saying that with like arrogance at all. I was very grateful that the uh, seller did that and I'm going to be ordering from that seller again. Doesn't mean I'm going to always ask for a better price. I just, I saw this and I just, it did to me, it seemed, it, it seems very high. Um, but at the moment, these are super rare. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm the only guy who has one of these on uh, YouTube right now. So I'm sure it'll get back out. I'm sure some will see these and want one. I know one of you guys have already bought one, you said, so. Be very curious what you guys think of it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, another video down for you. That's two I've made so far today. So uh, I'd be working on another one here in a minute. And uh, yeah, it's been great. I'm glad you guys came along. I hope you stuck along this far. And uh, man, I can't wait to get back to walking, guys, because uh, we're going to be doing some videos. Definitely going to be doing that hot weather smock BDU that I made. I want to do some hiking in that. I mean, I literally have not been able to walk in five weeks. So yeah, I'm surprised I haven't really put on any weight either. But probably because I haven't really been doing a whole lot. So I haven't been eating that much. So anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, make sure you tell everyone Sky Survival sent you. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless. Take care. Bye.